across downtown Lafayette for this Friday night of festival. But if you aren't coming downtown, don't worry. AOC and KRBS, they've got you covered. Josh Many shows us uh, behind the scenes of how these organizations are actually preserving the music at festival for you to enjoy this year and for years to come. KRVS Public Media broadcasts live performances from their remote control center inside the Lafayette Science Museum. We pull audio from four stages and send it all back here and do remote hosting and interviews here and send the entire product back to the KRVS studio for live broadcasting. And their setup has come a long way since they started broadcasting festival 20 years ago. What we used to do was put this equipment at the main stage location and mix it there. But since we can put it here at the Science Museum, we're able to be in a better sound isolation area and hear things better and more critical and give a superior mix. For AOC, Festival International is a major volunteer recruitment and training process. We've got uh, 37 volunteers out here who've taken a couple of short courses with us and then they in turn come out here and literally do the video production. They have a five-camera multi-shoot capturing performances on the main stage. The video gets archived and shared on their cable and YouTube channels. At the end, we'll end up with 14 hours of performance, probably a little more than that, about uh, 15 hours of performance material, uh, which is over four days. That's a fair amount of finished product. Besides capturing music history, KRVS and AOC work together to make content that runs on the big screens in between performances. In Lafayette, Josh Many, KTC TV3.